sorry, just quickly before I do put it on the track, um, I forgot that there's all this stuff inside we haven't looked at yet. Well, for a start, there's this dummy box, <laughs> which just obviously pads out the space. It's very nice, um, very realistic actually, and looks a lot like paper wrapped around polystyrene. Um, excellent detail on the ends. Um, impressive. <laughs> Stop being daft. Okay. Right. Well, the first thing I should show you is that they put in this very nice piece of paper which shows you the um, layout of the train, basically, where its units are supposed to go. And we can see from it that the one that says Doctor Who, that has the nameplate, is supposed to go in the middle. Which means that either that one or that one will be the motor, which is quite interesting. So it's not like the APT where the motor is bang in the middle. The motor is either going to be that one or that one. Possibly that one, or no, no, I think it'll be that one. Because A and B, they're probably both empty passenger units, so that's probably the motor. Hmm. Okay, so let's put that to one side. What else is there? Well, there's all this usual things, which we've seen before. Basically, how to care for this particular unit, how to take it apart, how the motor is laid out, and everything like that plus the your consumer guarantee. But what's really interesting is that there's even this. Well, what is that? It's nothing. Oh, yes it is. Look at that. Tiny little metal nameplates that say Doctor Who. So I suppose you could put those over the, well, essentially stuck on or painted on ones that it comes with. That's nice. That's quality, we like that. So, now I can put her on the track. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the layout, and as she's DC and she's not been chipped, we're gonna use this DC loop here. I'm also gonna use the putter on her, <laughs> the um, railer. So, let's put on one of the ends first. Just slide that on as if it's a coach. But then we're going to have to put the coupler in. So. I grab hold of one of the little couplers. I'm sorry if you can't see very well, but there we go. In. That wasn't too hard. You can see that there. So we'll then get one of the empty coaches, unload that one, and then line the hole at one end up with the coupler. There we go. That was fine. I thought it was going to be worse than that. <laughs> That's nice. So let's put another coupler in there. Ooh. There we go. So that's another coupler in. We'll load on the unit that says Doctor Who. And then get this to couple up. There we go. Now the next unit technically has to be the motor, but because that doesn't move very easily, I'm going to load on the other end. So at the moment it's like one of the original cross country four car sets. Take the railer off, push that out of the way, and I don't need the railer actually. It's going to be simpler to just put the motor on like this. So I'll just put some couplers in it. We'll put one. Oops. It would help if the hole was there. Put one in that end, and we'll put one in the other end. and then get them all lined up. There we go. And then finally, this one, and then that'll be it. And this one's gonna be a bit tricky. I think I'm gonna have to lift the unit off. There we go. 
and just make sure it's on again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're ready to go. So let's give her some power. Select a direction. And away she should go. And away she goes. And very nicely too. Oh, just, well, stop, 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 stop. She's derailed, she's derailed, she's derailed. 